Beloved family of light, the new dream is emerging on your earth in the vision and the voices of your young people, the indigo and crystal generation. At the same time, the old dream and the old energies are falling into chaos and confusion as their energy recedes and they no longer know which way to turn. You may have noticed how, at this time, there seems to be so much chaos as the energy of the new confronts the energy of the old. Beloved ones, do not be overly anxious and fearful at these chaotic energies. Understand that it is a process that you might call healing and cleansing. You are confronting very old patterns of manipulation and illusion that are attempting to once again pull you into slavery and submission, but this time you are learning to say no as you connect with the power and empowerment that derives from your true connection to your divine light and your God Self energy. It is simply a matter of standing in your own light and strength, and not allowing those who would pull you into fear to succeed. The old ways of creating fear and manipulating people through fear are no longer working. The new path of openness and transparency and clarity is bringing to light all that is not clear and open. Beloved family, it is your work now to use your discretion and to be able to see clearly what is in your best interests and what is not serving you at this time. As each one of you makes the choices that will determine your future path into the higher consciousness energy of the new earth, remember always that you are earth keepers and elders and that your choices are connected to the choices and the future of your planet and of all living beings on the planet. As galactic consciousness emerges, you understand that you are not simply humans, but galactic humans, and you know yourself to be a part of the galaxy and a part of the divine energies that create pattern and form and existence on the earth. You see that it is this movement of energies and light in the cosmos and in the galaxy that is called divine will and divine intelligence and that it is this energy that determines the unfolding of all life and evolution in the galaxy. From the great starfields to the tiniest atom, everything follows the patterns of the divine heart in love and wisdom. For you, beloved ones, as intelligent and sentient life forms, gifted with the ability to make choices and decisions and to co create with the divine, it is now more than ever important that you exercise wisdom and judgment in your lives, and that you are not pulled into the manipulations and illusions that are so common in the old energy on planet Earth. It is a new cycle and a new age that is birthing, remember to focus on the new. Remember also, that this new energy is based in the heart energy and in love. Love is always awake and aware and present in the moment. It is love that allows you to love yourself enough to say no when there are those who would manipulate your energies and draw you into fear and anxiety. It is love that allows you to stand up and say no when there are those who would try to enforce the old energy and ways on you, and it is love that will allow you to say yes to the new dream and the new earth of life, abundance and peace. We know it is not easy, but it is love that will give you the power and the strength to pass into the new earth energy and be part of the manifestation of the new it is the elemental energies that will be assisting you in the manifestation of the new earth together with the light beings, the angels, the celestials, and the fairies and elves. All these living beings on many dimensions of light who have an interest and a part in the manifestation of the new. But, beloved family of light, it is you who are the primary creators of the new earth. What will you choose for yourself and for your earth at this time? Earth the earth is your home and the planet on which you live. It is your physical home while you are on the earth in a physical body. It was designed to be a paradise garden of abundant food and shelter for all living beings. Your body was also designed to be a healthy and happy vehicle for your soul and spirit. A part of your awakening has been to understand how you have fallen away from the original design because of fear and manipulation, and how you can begin to find your way back to this state of joy, abundance and clarity. Beloved ones, it has to be a choice. This is a galaxy of free will and choice and this is a sacred principle. You are not slaves and you were never meant to be. The energy of love is not slavery, it is the energy of balance and abundance. There are those that would try to convince you that you have no choices, but in fact you always do. You begin with the choices of how you live day by day. It always begins with you and with the small choices that you make, such as what to eat and how to spend your time. You get to choose. The small choices determine the bigger choices. If you feel empowered in your life, then you will not be fearful and you will not be afraid to stand up and make choices that will create peace on your earth and in your lives. Beloved ones, 
do not waste you time being angry because you feel you have no control over your lives. Rather begin to see how you can begin to make small choices every day that can make the earth a better place. One by one you can begin to make the changes. Make an effort to look after your physical body and to choose the best and most nutritious foods, because you love yourself. Make an effort to get exercise and sunshine, because you love your body. Make an effort to make your environment clean and harmonious, because you love yourself and the earth, and every little bit counts. You see, beloved ones, as you make the effort to create clarity and beauty and flow and health in your own life, so you raise the frequency all around you. You create a little zone of the new earth, and all those little zones add up to a powerful frequency. More and more people are joining in to raise the collective frequency on earth through love and caring in very practical ways. We ask you to work with the earth elementals in caring for the earth and your body. Become aware of the food you eat, the water you drink, the place where you live and bringing the highest frequencies to that place. This is what we call love. Being awake and aware and fully present in your life as a human on earth. Water beloved family of light, the oceans, the rivers, and the waters of your earth are so important to the future of your planet. Your planet is 80% water and your body is also. You are a water being, and before you were a being that walked on the earth, you were a beings that lived in the oceans. The oceans are a part of your history and you are a part of them. Your earth is designed to have both salt water oceans and abundant clear fresh water on the land. And yet, there are those who are polluting your water sources and trying to cut you off from fresh water. Beloveds, we wish you to know that there are certain myths in your scientific communities that are being used to control your access to resources. One of these is that there is a lack of water on the planet. There is abundant fresh water, and water is continually coming into the earth in the form of ice from space. In fact, Water is continually being replenished through a circular access from the outside slash deep space. In the beginning you had a firmament that kept the water within the bubble of the earth environment, but this proved to be unsatisfactory, so the Elohim creators removed it to allow for the free access of water from outside the earth environment. This high frequency water replenishes the earth's land and oceans and is designed to keep the frequency high on the earth and in your bodies. But, if you do not have access to fresh and clear water, then you do not have access to these frequencies. If you drink fresh and clear water from the earth, you will immediately notice the difference to bottled water or treated water. Beloved ones, the voice of love says it is time to work with the water elementals and angels and begin to seek for the fresh and clear water that you deserve and that is your birthright. That fresh water will assist you in raising the frequency of your physical body and finding alignment with your higher self. It will also assist you in cleansing old energies and toxins from your bodies, and bringing your emotional body into alignment. The emotions are closely connected to the magnetic flows of water on the planet, and the clearer the water the more able the being and the body to allow the flow of emotions without blocks and imbalances. Beloved Ones Love asks that you love yourself and your planet enough to begin to seek clarity in yourselves and in the water that you drink. Work with the water elementals, work with blessings, work with crystals, work with any way that you know to bring clarity and purity back to the waters. As you do this you will be creating a path of love for the raising of frequency into the new earth. Every little action helps to create a larger field of clarity and focus. Each one of you can contribute in your own way. Wind The wind is the air that you breathe. Each breath that you take supports your life and the life of all beings on the earth. Beloved ones, have you ever stopped to think of this beautiful gift, and of the air elementals and the plants and trees that make it possible for you to breathe fresh and clean air? Every day, the elementals and the plants are working to clear toxic gases and produce oxygen for you to breathe. But, on your earth you are making it difficult for them as you continue to produce toxic gases that must be cleaned and cleared at a rate that puts pressure on the entire system. We ask you to work with the air elementals, and to be conscious of the quality of the air in your home and in your environment. What can you do to ensure that the air remains fresh and clean and supports your health and your growth and allows you to move back into optimum health and happiness? You were designed to breathe fresh and clean air, and the plants and trees are there to help you. 
Do what you can to support clear air in your home, and by planting trees if you can. Each little piece helps to show the air elementals that you are making an effort to be a part of the new earth energy by contributing to the health and well-being of the whole. Beloved ones, you can also teach your children to be aware that the air that you breathe is also a living being that is cared for by elemental energies and that it needs their love and support. You may even find that your children know this already. You can teach them how plants and trees support your lives by producing oxygen and converting toxic gases. This is love that the air and the air elementals show to you. Is it not gratitude to show also love to them by supporting their work with appreciation? Fire Beloved Family of Light, the element of fire also works with you every day to ensure that your lives continue on the earth. Every day the sun rises for you and fills your earth with light and life. The fire elementals ensure that this light and energy fuels the processes of transformation and synthesis that are so necessary for life on your planet. This light is used by plants in the process of photosynthesis to create food that energizes your bodies and your lives. Without this element and the energies of fire on the earth there would be no life. Beloved ones, can you not honor the element of fire with respect and recognition? Can you not also see that this is a powerful element and this misuse of this element can be very destructive, not just in large-scale wildfires that are the result of bad agricultural practices, but also in nuclear accidents that are the result of poor planning and lack of foresight. How many cities are built around or close to nuclear power plants, and how much life, human animal, and plant, is put in danger by this misuse of the fire element? Beloved ones, there are so many other ways to power your world. The indigo crystal generation is here to lead the way to sustainable sources of energy and uses of fire that respect life and the planet. We urge you to listen to them and their voices and ideas. They have so much to offer. Do not refuse them until they become angry and take on their warrior energy. 4. The indigo warrior will stand up for what they believe, it is their way to fulfill their purpose, which is to bring the transformation of the new earth. Love asks that you begin to find ways to use energy that are non-harmful and supportive of all life on earth. Spirit Beloved Family of Light Spirit has entered your world in a new way since the beginning of the ascension process. As you activated your light body, you invited your soul and spirit to anchor in your heart. Your body raised its frequency on the cellular level and became the vehicle for higher consciousness. As you clarify your body, you allow for the free flow of love and divine compassion into your world, you become a means of transmitting higher consciousness and awareness into the earth and the new earth grids. As you raise the frequency in your body to match the frequency of light in your light body, you will feel the need to live the truth of the light that you are. You will find ways to honor the miracle of life and the body that you have, as well as the earth and all forms of life on her. Beloved ones, life on earth is a gift that is given from spirit, and your light body is the gift that is given to allow you to experience life as a spirit beings as well as a material being. As you awaken to your spiritual nature, you will also awaken to the beauty and love that is the divine plan for evolved galactic humans. There are those in the higher realms that are working closely with you, so that you will awaken to the need to love and honor the earth and your body as gifts from spirit. Beloveds, we would say that this is the most important issue on the earth today. All other issues are largely manipulations and illusions that are designed to draw your attention away from the real issues that you face in manifesting the new earth. It is so simple, you can start in your own life, day by day, building a reality that honors the earth and life. Or you can follow the illusions and allow your energy to be taken by fear and anxiety. But we would like to suggest that when you are strong and empowered in your own lives, then you will not feel the need to be drawn into empty and futile illusions, but will focus on the real issues of your lives and how you manifest what you need in your lives as powerful CO creators with spirit.